Hey guys, welcome back to another plan with me. This week I'm planning from October 17th to the 23rd. I'm using this kit from Whimsical Plans called Spooky Treat. Now, this artwork. I don't know if this is based off of a show. I don't know. I don't know. All I know is I love it. Um, it reminds me of Halloween. It reminds me of Cinderella. And it reminds me of Sailor Moon and Pokemon. I just, I love whatever this is. I'm all about it. And it's definitely something different for me um, in terms of October spreads. I usually like to keep it more either like traditionally Halloween or just really creepy. Um, and this is really cute, but I really like it and I haven't seen anything like it before. Um, and also I just love the color scheme that is really big like it's very much like a sunset I just think this kit is stunning um this week I decided to use both the date covers and deco at the top and I like the way it looks um fortunately with whimsical plants kits she just has a little white circle on all the date covers so I didn't have to use date dots which is good because I'm pretty much out of them I was able to just write the numbers in and I sort of think that matches a little bit better because I handwrite everything I don't really use scripts I did have some scripts that I really liked um but when I was reorganizing my stickers which I have to do again to be honest I lost all of my scripts I have no idea how that happened they were with me and I was sorting everything and I have never seen them since and I'm pretty bummed about it because even though I'm not like a big script person um there were a couple that I really really liked um one in particular my friend Elsa made for me specifically and I was obsessed with it like I loved the way it looked so much um I'm really hoping that like one day they'll turn up like maybe they're in my closet where I used to keep my stickers and I just haven't seen them yet um I did just find a sock that I had been missing for like six months and it was in the back of my closet. I must have just missed my hamper when I threw it in. So there's hope for my script stickers to show up in there. Anyway, moving on with the rest of the spread, I believe, okay, I did leave a full box off of Monday and I did mark a couple things on my sidebar this week. Um, and I tried something different on my sidebar. Instead of using half boxes, I used two of the squares that came with the kit. And I also um, just decorated with a couple pieces of the leftover deco rather than pulling from my sticker collection. And yeah, I think it looks, I think it looks nice. But anyway, moving on to the day by day, starting with Monday, the first thing I marked with a pair of sneakers from the GP studio is that I walked to CVS. I had to get my flu booster and my, I'm sorry, I wrote this incorrectly and then I wrote myself a little arrow, my flu shot and my COVID booster. I, I just flipped those in my planner. Um, and when I got there, number one, I... It's a whole thing having to schedule this appointment. I scheduled for a different CVS because it wasn't letting me schedule for my closest location. And then um, we ended up figuring out what the problem was. And then I was able to reschedule at this location um, and just switch the type of booster I was going to get. But it I didn't, I, I completely forgot. This was definitely my fault, but in my defense, it was very confusing online. Um, I forgot to move over my flu booster from the other CVS. And fortunately they did me a favor and I was so apolog apologetic because I was so embarrassed that I did that. But um, yeah, like my flu shot was still scheduled at the other CVS. Um, and, but they, they got one together for me and and gave it to me so I really appreciated that but I was I was really embarrassed um under that oh and I used just a little doctor emoji to mark that under that with a Carly Plans TV I just marked that we watched Dahmer with a fancy label and this resume emoji I marked that I up finally updated my LinkedIn um it's so silly. Like, I mean, I ended up not getting a job through LinkedIn anyway, so it, it didn't even matter in, in the end, but I sort of waited like years and years and years and years to update my LinkedIn because after, um, like 
like I nannied for so many years and I didn't want to add nanny to like my professional LinkedIn page. And then my most recent job, I, it's so, I don't like annoying people. Again, it's anxiety, but I was so scared to ask what my title could be. Um, I was scared to ask my boss what my title was. How stupid is that? But I finally asked and I was able to completely update my LinkedIn profile. Yeah. Took me over a year to ask (laughs) what my title was. Um, under that with a little thing and a munchkin watching TV, I marked that I watched SNL. Then with another little thing and a laptop sticker, I marked that I went through and deleted a ton of emails, which I actually have to do again. These companies are going insane with their promotional emails, and I don't want to completely unsubscribe because I do want to get some of the information, but I don't need five emails from you a day. I need like one a week. Just tell me what your sales are, when they're going to happen, and that's it. And then maybe toss me a reminder in the middle of the week or like the day before it's happening. But I don't need four different emails from you under that with a half box and this water bottle deco that I've had left over. I marked that I had to walk, um, my boyfriend's water bottle to him at the volleyball court. He's not on a volleyball team, but he was filling in for a friend and he forgot his water. So I had to walk there and, um, Yeah, I just wasn't in the mood to do it, but it was fine. It was like wet and gross out. Um, yeah, wasn't wasn't about that. With a movie marquee and this paper shire garland from like a Halloween sheet, I marked that we watched Halloween ends and I wasn't obsessed with the fact that the main killer wasn't Michael. Um, I kinda thought that's like a little bit silly, like that's how you're gonna end it. Um but And I'm not going to say it was good, but I liked it so much more than, what was it, Halloween Kills or whatever. Like, the one that came out previously, I did not like that one at all. So bad. Um, So this one, in comparison, was better. And then the final thing for Monday with a fancy label and this GP Studio Sick Day sticker. Mark said I was really feeling the shot at this point, and um, Joe was making fun of me because he thought I was like being over dramatic, but then he got his shot either the next day or like a couple days after and he was dying. So yeah, definitely made me feel a little like just, I don't know, like don't, don't, don't make fun of me until, you know, I don't know what I'm trying to say, but you know what I'm trying to say. He was like making fun of me and then he was in worse shape than I was. Moving on to Tuesday, the first thing I marked with a flag and a paper shire car was that all the roads on my way home were blocked and that was just, it's its insane how difficult it can be to get somewhere. Like I live 10 to 12 minutes away from my boyfriend's apartment by car depending like on the time of day. And just in that like short drive, there are so many obstacles some days. It's ridiculous. It could end up taking me twice as long just because of garbage day or because of road work or because of people moving. Like it just, yeah. And this day was particularly bad. With a little thing and a sleepy Tara, I marked that I took a nap under my electric blanket because I was still really feeling the shot and the guy told me I would especially because I switched from Pfizer to Moderna so yeah I was just like not feeling good at all um so under that with this robe deco I marked that I just slept the entire day which sounds really really good right now with a YouTube sticker from Carly Plants, I marked that I just did some YouTube catch up after I woke up and then I did one of my favorite activities and I worked on a puzzle while listening to an audiobook and I finished the book called An Honest Lie and I can't remember what it was about. So I don't know if it was any good or not. I I uh, should have looked this up. I think I looked it up while I was doing this spread and I already forgot what it was about. So I guess it wasn't that great. Um, and I just used a puzzle piece from Ilza, from Ilza's Melted Plans, and then a munchkin with headphones on. And then the final thing for Tuesday with a little thing and a clock icon, I marked that I was up until four in the morning. <laughs> um, moving on to Wednesday, the first thing I marked 
with a fancy label and a spray bottle was that I did the litter and then I cleaned the floors with a flag and a desk from Murdoch Talks. I marked that I just did some job hunting all day and then I texted um, my boyfriend's sister because she offered to help me with my resume so I was just confirming that I could send it her way for her to look at and her and she could give me notes um, and I just marked that with a little thing and a cell phone icon with a little thing and an angry head I marked that there was this crazy guy on a bike who almost ran me over <laughs> um, with a fancy label and an emoji like a candy emoji I marked that I got um, free candy from CVS. I guess it's technically not free. I used a coupon, but they had, they were still sending me those $4 off any purchase coupons at CVS. So I would just get like under $4 worth of candy and it was free with a little thing and a banana emoji. I marked that, um, I had some banana bread and it was not very good. Um, I just definitely prefer homemade banana bread and I don't really prefer that many things homemade, but that's definitely like one of them or the only one, but yeah, store-bought banana bread is just not that great. And then the final thing on Wednesday with a little thing and these two munchkins watching TV, I marked that um, Joe and I watched anything for Jackson, which I really enjoyed. The ending was a little weird, um, but I really liked it and the antagonists were just so likable. I loved them. I wish they were my grandparents. Um, yeah, highly recommend. Moving on to Thursday, the first thing I marked the flag and another paper shark car was that I went with Joe to do his work stops. And then with a label and a shopping cart icon, I marked that we stopped at ShopRite and Dollar Tree. And then at Dollar Tree, I, so I love if you've ever had those M&M ice cream sandwiches. My grandfather used to get them for me all the time. Well, they had a chocolate flavor that I've wanted to try, but I didn't want to commit to an entire box of them. And Dollar Tree was selling them individually, so I got one. Little did I know that the one that I picked out had a hole in the bag. And so I opened it up and I started eating it. And I was like, it's decent, but it looks freezer burned. And I was really confused because it was not expired or anything, even though I got it at the dollar store. Like it, it was still good. And um, I had wanted to split it with Joe, but he changed his mind and he didn't want any. And I only wanted half. So I just held the other half. And then I got out of the car and I was completely covered in chocolate ice cream. And that's how I discovered there was a hole in the bottom. So, so fun. With a label and another Papershire Halloween sticker, I marked that we watched Dahmer with a little thing. And this table setting from Planting Roses, I marked that I did Joe's Dishes. And then the final thing on Thursday with an appointment label and this GP Studio cleaning sticker was that I helped him clean his apartment. Moving on to Friday, the first thing I marked with a little thing and a puzzle sticker was that I worked on my puzzle with a little vacuuming emoji. I marked that I vacuumed and then I used this computer flat lay to mark just a bunch of like job hunting and the main thing was going through all of the emails in my job email. Um, it took hours with a little thing and an olive studio olive lifting weights i marked a workout which i really need to get back into but it's it's just not happening right now i'm just too too stressed and too busy but at this yeah i need to like be consistently working out um under that with a little thing and this little bow sticker that i got off of a random sticker sheet i marked that i sewed um, the dress I was planning on wearing to a wedding the next day, it just was way too open in the front. It was a lot of boobage. So I just, um, put in a stitch a couple inches up and it was perfect. Um, with a fancy label and an Essie nail polish bottle from, I want to say sticky perks. Um, I marked that I did my nails. And then the last thing this night with a TV icon, I marked that I watched the 2006 remake of the Hills Have Eyes, which, I have seen before, but I wasn't positive, and now I've rewatched another pretty bad movie, but it's okay. It was mainly just, like, background noise while I was doing other things, so I didn't, like, dedicate a whole evening to it or anything. 
Moving on to Saturday, the first thing I marked with an appointment label and a pumpkin paper Cotera doing her makeup was that I got ready for the wedding with a half box and these old school SPC balloons. I marked the wedding and this was the final one for this year. Um, and yeah, and I got a little bit of a break in between weddings, so that was nice. Um, and yeah, it was it was beautiful with a little thing and of course you know if I went to a wedding the next thing that's coming is an I ate too much munchkin I ate too much again um yeah and they had a whole dessert room at this wedding and um I mean on the on the one hand after weddings they throw out all the food so I don't actually feel wasteful even though it it, like it looks wasteful but it's not because they throw everything away um but I got like every single dessert and basically just took one bite of them because I couldn't eat anymore, but I really wanted to try everything. Um, with a fancy label and these partying emojis, I marked that there was an after party at their hotel, which was insane because there was also another wedding um, that evening having an after party at the hotel. So the bar was packed. Um, and we had originally planned on heading home like rather early because this was a local wedding. It wasn't in Philadelphia, but it was like 20 minutes away, like with no traffic and there was no traffic. So we would get home in 20 minutes. Um, but we uh, were at a wedding with like a lot of people we really like and don't always get to see. So we ended up staying at the hotel so late, like way too late. Um, but it was worth it. It was a really good time. So I just used a happy munchkin head to mark that. And then I marked that we got home at four in the morning. Uh, I marked that with a little thing in a house icon, but to be honest, it beats staying in a hotel because we'd have to wake up at, at like 10 and check out at 11 or whatever. Um, and instead we drove home in 20. Also the traffic would have made the trip more like 45 minutes. So we got home in 20 minutes and then slept in. So that was nice. And finally moving on to Sunday, the first thing I marked that, um, was that it rained and I used a Stellabo sticker co umbrella to mark that with a movie slate icon from the kit. I marked that we watched the challenge and then with a half box and these two munchkins eating out, I marked that we met two of our honorary cousins for dinner. They were in town for the wedding. They're not actually our cousins, but, um, we, crash their cousin's vacation pretty much like every year and anyway it was really cool to see them um for more than just like a random long weekend in the summer and they were staying in Philadelphia um and they had plans to go to the Eastern State Penitentiary which is very close to where I live so it just made sense for all of us to get together and have dinner um so that was really nice and definitely something different to do. Um, I know like eating out with friends does not sound different, but like recently I feel like I've been doing a lot of other stuff and it was nice to just like get together with some people and have a very relaxed meal. Um, under that with a fancy label and an olive studio, olive with a burger, I marked that we went to this restaurant called Fairview. It was actually not our first or second choice, but we didn't realize because um, I'm not a sports fan at all and my boyfriend is not a baseball fan, but the Phillies were, um, I don't know, playing and this is the night they got into the World Series. So both of the first two places we wanted to go to were so insanely packed. The first place actually had two giant TVs out on the sidewalk and half of their uh, customers were outside because they couldn't fit in the bar. Um, so that definitely didn't happen. And then the next place we went was pretty much just as packed. So, uh, but luckily we did find one like sort of quiet restaurant with normal food because we, we like bar food in this, in this group. Um, under that with a little thing and an emoji with an ice cream cone, I marked that we had some ice cream. And then the final thing for Sunday with a movie marquee from the kit and these munchkins watching TV, I marked that we watched the movie, a perfect murder. I believe it's Gwyneth Paltrow and um, Michael Douglas. And so it's like an older movie, but it's really good. And both of us, while we were watching it, could not remember a single thing, but we're both having deja vu as if we had seen the movie, but we still really enjoyed it because we couldn't remember anything. 
Um, as far as my sidebar goes, the two things I decided to mark were that I went to the last wedding of the season this week, and then I also wanted to mark the dinner that we had with our quote-unquote cousins. And yeah, that's everything for this spread this week. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching, especially if you stayed all the way to the end. Um, we're almost caught up. We're almost caught up. I didn't get as much done as I wanted to last week. I was really hoping to like be in December or I'm sorry, be finished with November. Um, but it, it just didn't happen, but that's okay. That's okay. I'm going to catch up. Um, hopefully before 2023. Uh, but yeah, that's it. Thank you so much. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.